So today you find me travelling the vast distances of the metropolis to see how Dr John's getting on with his bike. Hello John. Hello there. How you getting on? Uh, yeah, I've done really well so far, taking it out of the packet. I'm a little bit concerned because uh, Dr. John's gone to get instructions. We've never used those before and everything's always worked out fine. Look at that sand in there. First off, take off the screen. Oh, look, he's undoing the first Allen key. Is it Allen keys? Yeah. Allen bolts. You get torques on a KTM. No Allen bolts on a KTM. And not on the back. Oh, it's like a, is it like a threaded sleeve? The reason for videoing this is not for me, it's if we have to put it back together one day. Because we probably will have to put it back together. Now hang up, there is a bit here that I've looked at. Oh yeah, that's come out. It's on four. Okay, so that's good. So we've got one, two, three, four grommets holding that. So it just pushes in, doesn't it, rather than up. Uh, it can be one bolt on one. That, the bizarre thing was is that it works. Yeah. <laughs> just one, you know, in the engine. It went to work and back every day on it. It looks better without the screen. It looks mean. Sorry, I hate this, but I think it's an RTFM component. He's going to read the instructions. I can't read, so no point in giving them to me. <laughs> they should just pull off. So that's just got to be moved. Just, yeah, just moved. Yeah. Now John is rigging up the Garmin specific mount. Your mount may differ. That he's doing it in the dark as well. Incredible skills. This. Yeah, under the tank. Do you want me to get one of my long um, cable ties? I use them all the time for that. You can thread it through, tape the wire to it, and pull it back through. Exploring for a route. Next up, Codger Biker's patented cable routing system. It's just a giant cable tie. I push it through and then tape the cable to and gently pull it back. Oh, look at that! So, I threaded it gently through the side of and it's reappeared out here. So I think we can use that to put it up and over there. So using the old Codger Biker wiring detector, wiring location system, an old cable tie. We've got it through there and it emerges here. There it is, straight through. That was easy. Thank you very much to my genius. So John, we've had a good, good fun hour building contacts, making switches, haven't we? And um, a waste of time. What <laughs> doesn't work, does it? But we have good news. We have found the ACC line. Hooray! And it's switchable. So 
we're going to use that instead. Much easier, and the contact goes straight on it, won't it? Time has passed. We are back on the GPS mount. It's all going well. Is there a sleeve on the bolt? But let's have a look how John's arranged all these bolts. Now, to, to the uninitiated, it would look like he's thrown them in a box with a load of other stuff, but I'm sure that's not what you've done. What are these? The clips, these two, because they'll hold it then. Yeah, that's in, isn't it? That's the basic idea. There's your mount, there's your TFT. Good to be honest, you. So, oh, those two brackets hold the Two bolts hold the TFT, bins in place, we've got the feed for the sat nav ready to sort out. There's the bracket to hold it. So nothing's fastened up at the moment. But, and we're using a Garmin sat nav, the instructions show a Nuvi system, but it doesn't really matter, it's all the same basic mounts. You can adjust it, put your feed. Winter came back. Bloody freezing! It's not that we've been doing it for three seasons. <laughs> Nearly in position for the sat nav power system. Bracket, wires. No, I could put, put, put a theme. A theme. Right, we're ready to go. There's a new sat nav. Oh, lovely. Well, we'll just turn the power on. Someone's idling. Go. Yes. Yeah, it's going See, it just turned itself off. Yeah. Sorted. Well, it's working. That's the main it's thing. Working. All working. Just need to put it back together. Will the screen ever go on? Are you sure you want a screen on it? Yeah. You're having it without a screen. Right. There we go. So it looks a lot tougher without a screen on it. So I've got a hybrid of the original screen, sat nav mount, and then a bracket handle that goes across to adjust it. Yep. I can. You want to put stainless steel ones on, so I got told. Marvellous. It's got to go that way because it says Evo so you can see it. In. <laughs> that looks really nice, actually. So, John, what do you think? That was a very easy piece of Brilliant. work. Brilliant. What was that, 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's not cold. Not it was cold. sunny and light when we started. Right, so John, can you adjust your screen? No. Yes, you can. There you go. Pick your position. What position do you normally have it in? Leave it in that. Thank you. Back into position. Very good. They're ready. Right. And go. Yay! Solved the one issue that I didn't like about the tiger not having a GPS in the proper place. Thank you, people of Olford. All the most sensible people come from Lincolnshire. Oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I have to video this. I don't know what it is. Evo Tech Performance Triumph Tiger 900 Garmin sat nav mount. A video for up here so that way I don't have any double chins. Right John, so we've finished. How was that as Brilliant. an experience? Um, how long do you think that took us? 10 minutes, 20 minutes? I think it was about 25. To be yeah. Hours. And uh, so what did we learn from that? We learned there's an ACC switched under the seat which is brilliant. Probably the best thing. That yeah, done. that's great. We've got, we've learnt, more importantly I think, even than that, is that you can fit um, um, screen mounted sat nav in the position where you want to be looking as you're going along on the tiger and still use the screen the screen can still be adjusted easily you can do that when you're going along look you push forward so all in all i think that's been a very good successful day so where are we going i'm going in it's freezing and on Thank that note Codge biker is out